So now we're going to look at the thoracic spine manipulation in detail. So the thoracic spine is from T1 to T12, so pretty much the back of the rib cage. Uh, that area can get very stiff, particularly due to posture and sometimes um, due to a sharp movement. People can feel like they're having a pneumothorax, which is um, a burst, uh, basically a puncture in the lung and they feel acute pain and they feel like they can't breathe but sometimes it's just because one of the joints in the back is locked up. Um, so I'll show you how you can manipulate that area effectively. So in this position, in the patient's supine, so lying on their back, you want to get them to cross over their hands and you want to get them to give, give themselves a big as hug as possible. So get their arms right round. So depending on how mobile they are, this is going to vary. If they're very mobile, so women particularly, um, women can be quite hypermobile, so they may be very flexible. So you want to get, get them to give themselves as big a hug as possible, so you're, you've got a good bind there. So it's not too wobbly around and it's not too difficult to manipulate. So next, next you get them to bend their knee. So if I get you to bend this knee for me, please. Thank you. And now I can roll the patient towards me. So I bent the knee so that I can roll the patient and I can feel along the thoracic spine. So I can feel for any particular points of stiffness and there's one there. In terms of landmarks, the top of the shoulder blade is T3, bottom is T7. So I can, in terms of for my examination and for my notes, I know about whereabouts I am. So there's a restriction there. Um, and then the, the contact is, I use uh, fist type contact. So the, the spinous processes, the bit that are sticking out, are in between my hand. And then either side, so the transverse processes, on either side so this is the bit which is uh, where the bone which sticks out is along the spine so just to show you finding that segment again use my pop use my fist behind the back roll the patient back onto my hand and as I roll the patient back onto my hand I'm gonna get the patient to take a deep breath in deep breath out and as the patient's weight is directly over my fist I'm gonna apply a short sharp thrust down to just to show you what that look like looks like if you come in a bit closer and take a deep breath in for me please sir and breathe out.